Ladies, you absolutely do not need this poison. Throw it in the trash where it belongs. Let's be honest for a moment, ladies. The biggest reason why I'm not on hormones is because of my I love my and I want my to work. Just like a car needs gasoline to run, a needs testosterone to run. I was on hormones years ago, and here's a little bit about what I think about hormones and my experience on them and why I'll never put that in my body again. Personally, I don't think hormones are really that big of a deal. They add a little bit of something to your transition, but it's not like a life or death you need to have the hormones in order to transition. The perfect metaphor is this. Transitioning is a sandwich, and that sandwich consists of a few different things. Surgery is the meat of the sandwich. That's the filling, that's the really good part, the part everyone wants to decide what they want. Styling yourself, your hair, clothing choices, skincare, all of those little things, that's like the lettuce, the tomato, the bun, and the hormones are the mayonnaise on the sandwich. The mayo definitely adds a little something. It gives it just like a little bit of moisture, a little, helps it go down a little easier. But you can easily enjoy a sandwich without mayo. Nobody wants a mayo sandwich. You can't have a sandwich that consists of nothing but mayonnaise. So it's important to have all those different elements of your transition working together. And if you think hormones are important, imagine this. You have a trans woman who has not started her transition. So she's a guy. She starts her estrogen. She starts her T blockers. She doesn't change her hair. She continues cutting it short. Wears men's clothes, no surgery. No electrolysis, no laser, no nothing to the face, but is on hormones. Does that sound like a successful transition to you? Hormones add that little something something, but they're not really that important. When I was on hormones years ago, I would notice some little differences that were pleasant. Like I noticed my hair would be a little thinner in the unwanted parts of my body, like the legs, but I still did need to get laser hair removal. My skin would be a little softer and a little nicer, but that didn't mean I still didn't need to exfoliate and use my products to really get my skin nice and moisturized and soft. So it was like a little better, but not life changing. But on the flip side, I did notice that I had to do more strength training. I had to do more cardio and work out harder to keep the weight off. I don't know how many of you can be on hormones and not gain weight, but I've tried taking them a couple of times and I just always blow up. Now, I do like my curves. I like to have a little bit of body, but I also do not want to be huge. I don't want to walk around and look like the refrigerator. I feel like they didn't really add a lot of value to my life. I still had to continue my beauty regimen. I still had to continue everything as planned and as scheduled. But I had to add some things as well, like extra cardio, extra strength training, just to keep the weight off. I can see why some of you bricks need hormones, but it's not me. When it comes to your face, the only thing that hormones are going to do to feminize it is to just add a little bit of fat to your face. You'll probably notice it more in like the lower face, your cheeks, things like that. If you have a man's jaw, a man's chin, a brow bone, a sharp hairline, you need to take care of those things and you need to get surgery to fix those things. Facial fat is going to be cute while you're young, but then as you get a little older, you're going to lose that facial fat anyway. That's why you see so many older women who need to get facelifts, fat transfers to the face, filler, all of these things because they lose that facial fat. And girl, if you were using that facial fat to cover up the chin, the jaw, the brow bone, whatever the case may be, once it's gone, now you spent 
all this time, your entire life on hormones, not getting the surgery, and now you got the old face back once the facial fat goes away. I'm not gonna name no names or nothing, but if you know some older girls who never got their surgeries, as they get older, they revert into a brick. I'm not gonna be a complete hater. Hormones definitely do turn it for the body and for certain things with the body. If you are extremely skinny, maybe you did a lot of strength training prior to your transition or you just naturally have a lot of muscle tone, it can be good to get that little bit of fat over just to make you a little softer, plumper, more feminine looking. And of course, the chest development. Your chest is always going to look better with hormones. If you have implants, if you do have that little bit of, you know, A cup, B cup around there, it's just going to look better, feel more natural if you're on hormones. But also the downside is if you don't plan on getting implants and having that surgery, hormones are not going to do a lot for the chest. It's gonna give you a little something to work with that would make the surgery better, but it's not gonna be anything to write home about. Most girls get like an A cup or B cup. There are some girls who are very lucky who get in the C, D range, but most girls just get like a little something. And then they'll have like a full B or a C if they're overweight. The other negative thing about hormones is they really only work if you're young. The further you get away from your natural puberty, they're gonna work less and less. If you're in your 20s, they're probably not gonna work that well. If you're in your 30s, it's really not gonna do a ton. 40s, 50s, 60s, girls are rap. I started mine when I was 16, and I did see a lot of little, little things changing, but also, I still needed surgery because the male puberty went on so long without hormone blockers that I got a little manly. The last thing I hate is you need some type of testosterone blocker most of the time for the hormones to work, especially if you're on pills, less so if you're on shots and not at all if you're on like pellets. I've tried different hormone blockers and they just always make me feel like shit. I feel like that's really what gives me no energy, makes me feel like shit. Of course it kills your sex drive. I just kind of felt like a zombie sometimes. Being on hormone pellets was a lot better of an experience, but nothing compares to being all natural. <laughs> now you may need your hormones and if you need those hormones to be passable, to live a good life, then God bless you, but they're not for me.